Hey, what's going on everybody? It's a little after six on this Tuesday. I'm gonna walk into the M Sphere and uh, pick up a present. I was telling my friend Stella about this little uh, clip light. I got it, Ikea. Real nice little light and uh, she sounded interested. So I'm gonna pick one up for her. They're cheap, 500 baht I think. And then I'm gonna meet uh, my friend first. We're just gonna go to Buddy's over here on Soy 22. Have a little dinner. I'm gonna have a couple of beers. We'll see. She's uh, she's doing a lot of training lately, so she might have to uh, study tonight. But a couple of beers with dinner, that's on the menu for me. It's going to be a nice night. It's a little bit breezy. We've uh, had a stretch of good weather. Nice and cool in the morning and uh, hot all day. But once the sun goes down, a little bit of an unusual Bangkok breeze. Almost like before a rainstorm but no rain so I'm loving it and I'm still not a big fan of this crosswalk to get to the other side of Sukhumvit they have the guy with the red flag but uh, yeah this is just a super busy area I wish uh, I wish they would have did uh, what do you call it a set of stairs on the other side of the street off the uh, the new walkway up here I understand they want to funnel people into the mall but people from the other side of the street they want to come over here to the M sphere as well they did build a set of stairs on this side but nobody asked my opinion on the stairs so let's duck in there and go up to it's the third or fourth floor for the IKEA and it's starting to get busy it's still early not even 630 but all these places will come to life I think the M Sphere closes at 10, the shops, and the restaurants continue on uh, oh, uh, until midnight, or at least some of them do. And they still have the uh, Chinese New Year decorations out, the Year of the Dragon. And it looks like the Audis are on display. This is my favorite time of day. Right when the sun went down, good hour and a half. Beautiful outside. These kids are always at the uh, Prom Pong BTS. And the Prom Pong BTS station is uh, not really that busy tonight. It can get way worse than this. And I think this is a sunglass shop, Gentle Monster, here in the M Courtier. I got a bunch of these uh, mechanical bulls, is that what we call them? Or bison? Nice little outdoor area here in the courtyard of the M. Courtier Mall. I like that water feature going down the side of the building. Looking down so a bit towards the M Sphere on the left. About seven o'clock. And out in front of the M Sphere, this is called the Dragon Shadow Creation. Tiki Wow. And this is called the Riding a Dragon. And the Tai Chi Squat. And I'm coming up to the uh, busy intersection, the end of Sukhumvit Soy 22. Ton of beer bars. On Soy 22, I'm going down the left here, uh, just a couple of hundred feet, to Buddy's, the Soy 22 location. Yeah, you can see it right there. There's also one at the top of Soy 20, the top of Soy 8, Soy 89, Silom, and I might be missing one other. Buddy's Bar and Grill, fun place. And right across the way, that's the Auto Bar. If you're into heavy metal, that's probably the best... Uh, Bangkok heavy metal cover band. And here's Buddy's, just across from the Holiday Inn. Great little bar. And the barbecue, the last Friday of the month, they light it up, it's all you can eat. I think about 350 baht. And there's the drill bed on the bar. Pick that up with one hand and get a free beer. Yeah, I like this Buddy's, fun little place. Little Neil Diamond on the YouTube. 
uh, not Tom Jones. Yeah, Tom Jones was supposed to play at the M Sphere, the EOB Live. But I think they've switched him to a theater across town. This video will probably come out after the concert happened. I'm a little caught up on videos, but I was looking forward to uh, checking out Tom Jones. And there's the sign for the barbecue. It is the last Friday of the month. 380 baht per person. Um, uh, all you can eat pork ribs, barbecue chicken, ribeye roast, hot dogs, chili. The chili's really good here. Uh, potato, potato salad, hash browns, garlic bread, corn on the cob, and Italian spicy sausage. And it's just at this location, the Soy 22, last Friday of the month. And the drill bit on the bar, this bar's origins is a gas drilling bar, I believe. The tavern over on Soy 4, I think those are mostly oil workers. A lot of uh, Americans that work in the Middle East, they work something like 21 days straight, 12 hour days, and then they get two weeks off. And I talked to some guys, they did back to back shifts, whatever that is, 42 days, and then came over here for a month. So many of them keep apartments, the single guys I'd imagine, in Bangkok, rather than going back to Texas or Louisiana. This is probably a good place to uh, recharge the batteries. So buddies, I believe from the stories I've heard, used to be down the road where the macro food is. That was, uh, what was it called? The Queen something beer garden. And somehow a drill bit made its way here to the bar. Pick it up with one hand. It says no uh, back leaning, no gripping the bar. Pick it up with one hand and receive a free beer. I, I'm not sure what that thing's made out of. It's something crazy, maybe titanium or something. It certainly feels heavier than steel. And I'm not much of a day drinker, but uh, I'm a night owl. But if you are one of these guys that likes to get out and uh, enjoy some breakfast, then maybe tip a few pints. Yeah, buddies, O'Shea's down on Soy 33 and a half. These are good places to uh, hang out in the day, have a nice breakfast, sit there with your coffee. It's not all about drinking, but get out, socialize, get out of the condo. <laughs> Try to get down to the gym, get a little exercise in. But if the best you're going to do is... Uh, Doing some walking around town, even if that's heading down to the local pub. Hey, there's nothing wrong with that. Enjoy your retirement. If any of my San Diego brothers, old school uh, Navy guys, remember Ye Old Plank down in Imperial Beach? We had a good friend, Mikey. Mikey loved to be standing out front at 6.30 in the morning when the uh, first bartender showed up. Uh, yeah, some guys just uh, like to get out early, have a good time, and then be home at noon, 1 o'clock. All right, I, I'm not even sure. What is that? That's just rice. I thought you ordered Thai food. First ordered uh, Thai food, and I don't know what these are. They're some kind of little pork things. I ordered a pan-fried pork steak, and she thought you thought you were ordering chicken wings, right? And then, yeah, she asked for chicken wings and ended up getting uh, whatever these pork bits are. But, yeah, we've been waiting about a half hour for the food, so that's what she's eating. All right, first is dying because uh, that's like a hardcore wasabi sauce and she just like soaked it in there like it was a ranch or something, but no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, so that is, uh, I still don't understand what you ordered by mistake. They're pork, little pork bits. It's some kind of pork wrapped in bacon and rice, but I thought you ordered Thai food as well because I was surprised you ordered two things. You're what? You said you're drunk? You've had one beer. Yeah, she's had one beer. I wish I wish I was drunk after one beer. But yeah, yeah, that wasabi's a killer. But I'm waiting for my pan-fried pork steak. All right, the pork's looking good. I asked for mashed potatoes instead of fries. And I think that's a mushroom gravy sauce. I'm going to tear this up. So another fun night here in Bangkok, Thailand. Good friends, good food. Yeah, I love... Uh, running around this city. I appreciate you watching and more videos to come. Have a great evening.